Hello, I'm Jennifer Stoldi of Trendies International, and we are gearing up for next week's Heim Textile. Top on the list of things to see is the Future Materials Library, curated by Franklin Till. Today, we're speaking with Simone Post in the Netherlands, who is one of the designers who's taking part in the library. So we're here with Simone Post, who is going to be participating in the Heim Textile Materials Library next week. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Yes, thank you very much for inviting me. So can you tell us a little bit about what type of materials you'll be showing in the library? Yes, uh, at Heim Textile, I will actually be showing uh, a, a big uh, wildflower carpet. It's actually one of the biggest one we made and, and in the material library are some small samples. Yeah, the big one is the biggest one we made. It's like three and a half meter by three and a half meters wide, which also will be at the fair, which is quite exciting. And it's made entirely uh, out of uh, Flisco uh, textiles. And Flisco is actually a Dutch uh, textile manufacturer. Um, and what I use is all their uh, rejects from the production process. So all the misprints and all, uh, yeah, all the materials actually that otherwise would have been uh, discarded already. <laughs> we use this. Uh, um, our own uh, developed techniques. Uh, so we cut all the strips of textiles in a sort of same size of strokes and then we fold them and they are coiled into circles. First we make rings and then by hand we sort of reshape them into uh, yeah, some sort of organic flower kind of shapes and from all those shapes we make uh, different compositions uh, and building up uh, a carpet. The, the one which is shown there is actually called Summer Heather and it has a lot of different colors and it's also a bit about how light during the day can change uh, uh, the color of things and uh, the nature around us. And, and does it withstand, because it's made with all these tiny little fabrics, does it withstand the abrasion of people walking over it over long periods of time? Uh, yes, definitely. We've been making these carpets already quite a few years, like almost uh, seven years now. And we are actually now, uh, we also working, for example, on a batch for a hotel here in Amsterdam. And they already purchased a batch five years ago and they're in the room, so very intensively used. So they can handle quite a lot. Yeah. Where did you get the inspiration for these pieces? Uh, I saw all these textiles in the factory which were being uh, rejected uh, and they were just thrown away in while they were actually still beautiful textiles and so much energy was being put in them to make them and then in the end they were just thrown away because they were not good enough and I thought okay we should be able to find a solution uh, how we can still use them in another way just in the beginning drove home with a big car full of textiles and just started uh, cutting them up and see how we can transform them and do different things with them so for the three by three meter carpet that you're going to be showing how many people work on it and how long does it take yeah that that one <laughs> in that sense uh, it's uh, that one was a lot of work. I think it was, uh, yeah, I think we worked on it for two months with quite a big team. So. Now, are there any other, there are lots of interesting projects on your website. Would you like to discuss a few? I think the Hermes installation was uh, uh, a very big one. And also this was uh, a very different project. It was all, it was a window display actually, which was made entirely out of uh, marshmallows, which is a completely different project, but it's also more, much more about sort of the ability of envisioning this sort of fantastical world. Yeah. And this is also what I, I love to do, just to play around with materials and to make something new. So we are also collaborating with some brands and to see if we, uh, if there is possible to create some new products with their in-house waste material instead of you making objects out of new materials. Yes. Well, are there are there any other projects, past, present, or future, you'd like to share with us? Uh, what, well, what I think is also maybe a nice uh, project, which which I was quite happy uh, or proud that it was purchased by the uh, Centraal Museum. It's a very nice museum in the Netherlands, in Utrecht, and it's the town the city where I come from originally, so it was quite nice. And it called the project New Old Chairs. And it's about actually, instead of making new chairs, it's the idea 
uh, I use sort of old chairs from uh, from like sort of thrift shops. Can you tell us about the building that you painted? Actually, the building which I did uh, last year was the. It's actually the Flisco headquarters, so it's the. It's the headquarters of the textile manufacturer where the carpets are made of. And they asked me, they knew the, of course, they, uh, I collaborate with them using their uh, leftover materials. And then they said, okay, but we're also in this uh, sort of very old, ugly building. Is there somehow a way that you can transform it into something more appealing with our brand? Well, it's, it's very inspiring to look at the diversity of your portfolio and the different things that you've been producing. And uh, I look forward to seeing what yeah. you have in the Material Library at Home Textile next week. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you so much.